Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement an infinite scrolling background for your Unity game project. Infinite scrolling background is needed for almost every endless runner game. So let's get started. As you can see, I have prepared a sprite over here. A full background sprite, the link will be in the description. So let's drag it onto our scene. Now, mm, let me adjust our camera size so that we can see the floor clearly. Oh, rename to background one, and we will add a rigid body 2D component to this background because we need to move it by adding velocity. Set it to kinematic. Mm, now, add a Box Glider 2D because we need to reference to the size of this collider. Cool. Now let's duplicate this background by Ctrl D, rename to Background 2. Now we are set the position of Background 2 to the size of our collider. Cool. Now as you can see, both of the background is placed side by side to each other. Okay, let's add another sprite so that we can see the background move more clearly. Changes to a blue color, set it bigger, make sure order in layer. Let me reset it position. Ah, the scale. Scale it up. Cool. Now, okay, cool. We need to create a script for our background. So, create new folder. Name it to scripts. Right click, create a new script. We will call this background um, or repeat PG. We'll do. Okay, let's double click to edit it. So, the first thing we need to do is to define the box collider 2D to reference to the box collider component. So, box collider 2D, we are naming the X box collider followed by the rigid body 2D. We are naming this as RB. Uh, let me name it as RB. Oh, damn. Okay, now should be fine. Cool. Now, when on the at the start method, we are reference to the component by using get component method box by 2 d Doing the same thing for the rigid body 2D. Okay, cool. Now we need to get the width of the box glider. So, declare another float, we will call this width, and set the width equal to box collider or size dot x. This will give us the x value of the collider. Now, we will need declare another variable float speed. Let's set it to negative 3 for now. The negative value will indicate the background is moving backward. So, rigid body dot velocity equal to new vector two. Putting the speed over here and a zero on the y axis. Cool. Now, as for the update method, um, we will check if the transform dot position dot x is less than the negative value of the width. So this means when the background is moved beyond its width value, we should reposition it. So we need another method private word we call this reposition. So in this method we need to define a new vector to vector equal to new vector and putting the width two times the width value as a web x value. So 
after that, we will set the current position by adding the vector to it transform dot position so that the background will reposition to in front of another background. Cool. That's it for the background script. So let's go back to our Unity. Now let us um, change the name of the sprite to wall first, then select both of the background, add the background script to it. Repeat background. Cool. Yep, that's it. We are ready to test. So click the play button. Now we will wait for the background to move beyond it with value. Cool. As you can see, when the background is moved beyond it with value, it will move in reposition in front to another background. Yep, I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If you did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.